Welcome back to the channel and today I wanted to show you what you could expect from the Aeroflow Turkish Airlines business class on the A350. Please follow me on Instagram at Brandon Johnson 10K for behind the scenes looks at content that I will be reviewing in the future. So why did I call this the Aeroflow Turkish Airlines A350? Well, Turkish Airlines took over four former Aeroflot A350s and as you can see here, well, this business class was originally for Aeroflot. So they had the business class suites with doors. So there's four aircraft in Turkish Airlines fleet. I'll leave, a, uh, I'll leave the information for the registration of the four planes that have the Aeroflot business class. So Turkish Airlines fortunately didn't do anything with the business class, making this, in my opinion, the best business class you can have uh, on Turkish Airlines. And that's comparable to the 777. I'll leave a link for that review that I have. And on the Dreamliner 787-9, I'll also leave a link for that so you can compare all three seats. So here's a look at the seat in detail there. As you saw in the cabinet, you've got a light up here. Here you've got the headphone jack, universal power outlet, as well as a USB port. Got a pretty large table there. The in-flight entertainment re remote. And above you have the seat controls uh, for the seat here. So looking out here, so off a little further to your right, you do have a closet here. So some closet space to put a jacket up. And it's not that deep, so it's going to have to be a light jacket or a jacket that you can easily squish in there. Here's the nice size in-flight entertainment screen ahead to look at the footwell, which isn't too bad, not, not too narrow. In the tray table you hit that button this flips down and you pull this down here for the tray table so that pulls pretty close to you and you can just push it back and flip this up to close it so look here you've got a cup holder to your right side and you do have the door off to your left side so it does give you a bit more privacy uh, than you would have definitely a lot more than the 777 uh, and the A330 on Turkish Airlines fleet and you do have individual air nozzles as well so you've got a lookout of really two windows the second one being your best view so here's a look when you close the door As you can see there, you, you have a bit more privacy there. There's a little open at the bottom. But again, remember, these don't go all the way to the ceiling, so it's not maximum privacy, but it does give you, I guess, the illusion of more privacy. Here's the window shade. I always love these, these types of window shade, much better than the Dreamliner um, windows. Here's a look at the seat recline. So... Um, how it how it feels in the lay flat position it's a fairly comfortable seat now i was on um turkish airlines flight 617 it's maybe four hours and 10 minutes i did try this out in the sleep position actually maybe got a 45 minute to an hour nap and i found the seat was pretty comfortable here and here's a look at the bedding one thing i will say the only quirk is a, that I don't like about the seat that there's no armrest on either side. So when you're relaxing, it makes it just odd sitting up straight. Uh, it just feels unnatural to put your arm to that table, large table on the right. It's something I've been finding in details, just small details on seats that don't have the armrest. So it's just something to keep in mind when you're gonna have this seat. So, so look at the headphones, hot towel was handed out. They did have pre-departure beverages, choice of orange, apple, lemon mint, or tomato juice. So. I'm going to leave you with the takeoff and I'll be back with more on the flight.
let's take a look at the bathroom on the Aeroflow Turkish Airlines A350. So here you've got the slate gray floor and nothing too special about the bathroom. You don't have a window in this one. Here you've got the molten brown lotions. And again, pretty standard bathroom just with all the necessities. So meal service on this flight. First, I'm going to let you take a look at the menu and see what you might have chosen. And then I'll show you the meal service. So meal service was served all on one tray. Uh, you've got the mozzarella and vegetables here. You've got a small salad, lemon tart dessert, warm bread was handed out, and there's some cheese and an olive and a dried fruit. Beverage service as well, I had the cherry juice. Always love the cherry juice from Turkish Airlines. For my main, I had the filet of beef cutlet with gnocchi. That was very good. So the food really never disappoints on Turkish Airlines. After the meal service, I did have a tea. Then after that, they passed out some roasted uh, hazelnut uh, nuts for passengers in business class. And that concluded the meal service after that. So I'm gonna show you the in-flight entertainment, let you take a look around that. Keep in mind, there was no Wi-Fi on this flight. I don't think any of these uh, former Aeroflot aircraft have Wi-Fi, so no Wi-Fi on this one. I imagine on the others too. I was told there's plans to install them in the future, but we'll see. I'll be back shortly with my final thoughts. Okay, so I wanted to give you my final thoughts on this flight. Overall, the flight was good. The food was very good. Service was was just okay. Not nothing over the top, but nothing bad. Uh, there's no Wi-Fi on this aircraft, likely due to it being one of the X Aeroflot A350. So they probably haven't taken the time to install Wi-Fi yet. Uh, meal service is essentially all on one tray, but they do serve the entree separately after the appetizer. Um, you also do get a amenity kit and something I didn't mention at first you do get an amenity kit on this flight and four hour 10 minute flight I was able to rest a little bit I find the seat comfortable and it is private but again the one quirk is you don't have armrest on either side so it makes it a little odd when you're just sitting up be curious to know your opinion if you've flown one of these uh, X aero float uh, A350s and if you find that an issue for you um, but that was my experience on TK flight 617 from Istanbul to Casablanca as always I do appreciate you watching please hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share this with a friend thank you Said that they don't got a future, future like that. It burns, so give him something worse to kill his head with, make him forget somehow. Might be that another day she would have wished he stayed, but they're done. Sorry, this won't be enough this time. Yeah, he's calling all his friends to get.
need some action, distract him right now. He's fine, got Lucy on the line, let's get this started. Where's the party tonight? I 